My name is Edgar Phillips and I'm a stained glass artist. I make things like these wings and I also um, am the founder of Art Experience Days. In a particularly bad um, time, um, I uh, spent about a six month period where um, suicide became as much of a, an option daily as like, going shopping. And one day I went out into my studio to fi finish myself off basically and I had these beams above and literally, as I was doing that, um, I thought, oh, they're not going to take my weight. And it, that was enough to kind of stop me in my tracks and just go, well, how's it come to this? And like my head went down and I was just like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And it, in my mind, which was sort of pitch black, um, just burnt this red pair of wings. It was enough to lift my head up and walk straight out of that room. And I, I, I just went, I know what I've got to do. And I knew I had to make this version in, in, in stained glass. Counseling, two years, two years design process, you know, uh, calling mind, you know, I, I, you know, I wanted to live at that point. The wings story helped a lot of people. And a lot of people stand in the wings at like things like Glastonbury Festival and you know we talk about how it came about and it started this dialogue where I was like you know what I this help that I've been given I want to give it back. As I'm working with these different groups Spark, um, Open Mental Health, uh, Mind, um, I just started doing experience days where people come and they make a stained glass window with me. It's a collaboration for a day and they get to keep the stained glass window. So we, we make something that means something to them. You know, we go through a design process. I give them a history of stained glass. We go through a design process and then it, it evolves into something quite beautiful. You know, I'm not saying I'm a miracle worker, but I've watched miracles happen and that's really lovely. More people who collaborate on mental health, the more people will go on to becoming, you know, fully functional, you know, wonderful members of society like me. <laughs>